Hey guys, I'm going to give you some detailed reviews of this trailer, what I'm doing with it. I'll show you that gate over here. And if you go back and look at the other videos, you'll see all the steps, what special treatment has been put into this system of this trailer, why it was built like it was, and what it's going to be used for. I'll detail more as we go. So let's get this started, get ready for all the lighting. Stick with it. As I said, I would make a tailgate for my trailer, and here it is, the M01. So we have worked on it, got some letters made, and we've tack welded them, spot welded them all on, along with, as you can see, all the spot welds on the back side of all of this, uh, this gate. And the gate is designed to set in these grooves. It's got slight notches on it. And fit on this trailer. That's what we're working on there, and it's looking pretty good. There it is, the M1. All right, with the supervisor standing by, she wants to see how I'm gonna take that little spongy looking little six inch roller, this can of her favorite color which is purple. She looks good in purple, don't she? She does, her looks good in purple. You look good in purple? <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna take the M1 and we're going to paint it her colors. So by taking a spray can and this little foam roller, it's a little foam roller uh, and a tray. We're gonna lay it in the tray and we're gonna saturate it with this and get it really wet, and then we're gonna real lightly go over these pre-primed, pre-painted in white letters of Emma. So that will be purple, and it's pretty simple. I use the Krylon because it'll stay a little wet a little longer. All right, now, just by spraying, and I'm gonna have to pause, but by spraying very heavily, you can see it real wet. You want it real wet. See it draining down in there real wet? And then I'll lift it out of there. And I'll pause and lift it out of there and I'll paint this right quick and we'll come back to it. All right, so by spraying it really heavy, you can see it's still a little bit damp, we end up with the M01. My Border Collie has been with me for 10 years. Forever and a day, right, kid? <laughs> that's for Emma. Is that your trailer? <laughs> okay, so that's what we built it for. And we've got the cans now mounted up front. The frames for the cans. And we're using a couple of uh, salvaged army cans, 50 cals, to put ropes and straps and everything else in. We gotta do a little clean up there. And then over here, the other one's finished. And the next step is to put the rack in that goes right here. Um, it'll be for the gate on the back uh, so that the Emma one gate will fit on the trailer. And so we can lock it up when we're not using it. All right, now I've done put roughly about thousand miles on this trailer and done some upgrades. So now this trailer has some set of boxes on it for putting in um, your straps and your bungee cords and other things. Has one on both sides. Um, clears my bumper by about that much. Uh, there's a pair of locks for the chains that are going on the bumper on the back of the truck. And here is the gate. This is the gate for the M01. So I'll give you a shot at that. That is the gate for it. So you can see how it's laid out and it's in rails so that it's mounted and can travel with me without being on the rear. And that way, if I have long materials, I can take the gate off and set it in here. So the way the gate was designed was to be placed in unistrut. You can see it's still set up to where the light is plenty visible. 
and it's mounted in unistrut so it's got a little notch and by taking its cord loose on it and this gate will have a lock because the world's completely full of dickheads who will steal and I don't want that stole. This is named after my border collie so look at the picture that I post right here and you'll understand why and the border collie she's been with me for for literally 10 years and a uh, very good good animal so I made a trailer and named after her so now you have the Emma one gate fits perfect same height 14 inches all the way around the whole trailer lights are all finished and on including a light right there that is my backup light all weather light they are shatterproof or supposed to be so it's sitting right in there has a four-way trailer hookup on it which we will be hooking up here in a little bit and a hitch on the back so that I can use it on my little trailer sitting right over here and also pull another trailer with it. The Lincoln rims are absolutely been perfect. Uh, the balance was awesome in all the miles I put on. This thing doesn't bounce at all. I have a spare tire mount that I just put on and I do have another rim coming to fit on it. So it'll have a tire and a rim that matches these two right here. And we're still in the process of finishing this little generator cover to go on the generator. And this is the metal from a washing machine. So let me give you a show of that. All right, so, so this is the washing machine body, the box that the cover is being made from. It's an old Fisher Pakel, um, which has those generator motors in them. So if you don't know what a Fisher Pakel is, that's the body of it right there and this is the old Fisher Pakel inside here is a permanent magnet generator or it's a permanent magnet motor that you can convert into a wind turbine generator if you wish they produce about 300 volts so you make sure that you uh, don't run them fast but you will get about 25 to 30 amps out of it um, they do good uh, which is roughly about 350 watts um, sometimes you can get 500 out of them depends on how you set them up so and I've got a bunch of them. There's another one there. And back to the finalization. And if you're wondering why is it in purple? Well, my Emma Gale Border Collie, she likes purple. So this trailer here has now came in as a final bill with all construction, all materials, all lighting has come in for a final bill of $606. Not bad. You consider that you can salvage a lot of materials to build these. But this is the last video of this trailer. It's 20 feet long, 16 foot bed inside, and capable of 7,000 total pounds. Now, this trailer right over here has got a pair of 2,500 pound axles on it with seven inch brakes. It's not very stout, but it's gonna make a nice little storage slash box trailer. And it has got a 17 foot bed with a three and a half foot tongue, so it's only 20 and a half feet long. Slightly longer than this, but we're gonna make it kind of narrow. The next project is going to be the one that's going everybody's gonna to have to watch for. And I think I'll be the first one to ever do it. It's going to involve this Harbor Freight five lug, 1700 pound capacity trailer. Now, this little old trailer here is just a kit, 350 bucks usually from Harbor Freight. Right now it's being used as a water supply trailer. So you can see that this is just an old trailer. It's a water tote trailer. And I'll explain that why here in a minute. But the problem I've got with it is it's very squirrely. It goes all over the road. I've towed it behind a travel trailer, my truck, a travel trailer, and then this, and it goes all over the road. It's not very nice. So I've decided to do this. I had my very long-term friend drop this off to me and it is a five volt eight foot long four foot wide harbor freight trailer 1700 pound whatever they call it 1790 and it is going to get cut 
right there. And its back half is going to go on, I'll speed these up. Its back half is going to go on from right here. So we're going to have a four by 10 or so, it depends, trailer. I will straighten out the fender and attach the two fenders to make it a double fender. And then I will be the first, I believe, to have a Harbor Freight double axle, roughly 2,500 pound capacity trailer. It'll track nicely behind another trailer and carry my water tanks. So when we go gold panning and gold mining down in Nevada, it will hook on right here and follow this trailer. And it's got, and those Harbor Freight trailers have got very good clearance. This trailer has very good clearance. It has shock absorbers for those rough roads. If you can see that down in there, shock absorbers, all axle points. And it has this generator that runs the sluice, runs the pumps, runs everything. And we will be able to carry back tote after tote after tote after tote of fines and pre-finished material, roughly about 5,000 pounds worth at a shot in this thing. And the M1 will make a lot of hauls down into the deserts and in the gold mining areas down in Nevada. So this is what we use for that purpose. And this whole setup right here, $606. This setup over here, this, this setup over here is going to run us roughly about $150 to make a roughly a 2,500 pound capacity double axle four by 10 or so, depends on what I end up with. Trailer with a little two inch ball to tow behind my other one. And of course, all the weak points, you know, built into these Harbor Freight trailers will be strengthened. So y'all look for that. That's going to be the next video of a trailer build. And for a big bonus, here in a little bit when it gets dark, I'm gonna show you a little trick that this trailer has. It's gonna help us a lot when we're out in the middle of nowhere determining how we're running. Stay tuned. All goodies will be shown when it gets dark. All right, and here's the light show at the end. Here, I wanted to hold this out and show you all can see it. All the trailer's lights. And back here in the back, it's got a nice big bright, bright light in the back that shows underneath, way up under there. And a very unique feature to where you have the whole underbody lit is right up under there. Big cob light. So, other than wrapping up a few other things, the trailer is complete, lights and all. And that's the backup light that's on right now. So, all LEDs everywhere, literally everything is an LED. And that is completely it. But those lights, that light under there will run all the time while you're driving. And it is DOT legal, underbody carriage light. So, now the trailer was made for that gal right there, Emma Gale. Right? <laughs> All right, everybody. That's the end of it. And, yep, I did cover my license tags for the perverts, the freaks, the nut jobs, and all the other. You don't want to put your personal stuff out there if you don't have to. And here we go. Finished trailer. Subscribe, see more, watch more. All right, guys.